Hello everybody. Today we're going to install SDL on Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. So the first thing we'll need to do is go to the SDL website and download source code. So the website is libsdl.org. And we'll be using SDL 2.0 and just download the source code. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and drop that on our desktop and extract. Now we'll need to use CMake to build SDL. So go ahead and open up the CMake GUI. And this top field here needs to point at the SDL source code. So let's copy that path and paste that in right here. In this bottom field, this is where CMake will generate all of its files. So typically I'll point that at the source code folder and then type forward slash build. Click configure. Make sure you have Microsoft Visual Studio selected here. I already have it selected, so I'll just click finish. And then we just click configure and generate. Now we're done with CMake, so go ahead and close that. And we'll open Microsoft Visual Studio by double clicking the SLN file. Okay, so we're in debug mode. Let's go ahead and build that. And when that's done, we'll switch to release mode and build that. Now I want to run the install command, but to do that I need admin privileges. So we'll need to reopen Microsoft Visual Studio with admin privileges. And under recent projects, you should see SDL2. Okay, so we're in release mode. Let's go ahead and run the install command. Then we'll switch to debug and run the install command again. Great. So SDL should have been installed on the C drive in program files x86. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, here's the folder, and inside we have a bin directory with the SDL DLL files, and we have an include directory which contains the .h files, and we have the lib directory which contains our import files as well as the static version of the SDL library. Great. So let's go ahead and create a Microsoft Visual Studio project. File, new project. We're going to create a C++ Windows console application. Now I'm going to put that on the desktop. I'm just going to grab some example code from the internet. Okay, we do need to change this from sdl.h to sdl2 forward slash sdl.h. Now 
Now we can go to Project Properties. And we want to switch from Release to All Configurations. And now under the C++ option, we'll go to Additional Include Directories. And we'll go to the SDL folder. And we'll point that at the Include Directory. That's how the C++ compiler knows where to look for the SDL.h files. Now we'll go to the linker, additional library directories. We'll go back to the SDL folder. We'll point that at the lib directory. That's how the linker knows where to look for the binaries. Okay, now we can switch our configuration to release. Under the linker option, we'll go to input, additional dependencies. Go over here in the SDL2 folder, under the lib directory. We have two SDL libraries. One is the debug version of the library. That's sdl2d.lib. And then we have sdl2.lib, which is the release version of the library. We're under release right now. So we want the release version of the library. We'll just copy that name and paste that in. And we also need the release version of main. We'll just copy that. Paste that in. Hit OK. And apply the changes. Now we'll switch to debug mode. And we'll do the same thing for debug mode. So now we need the debug version of SDL. and the debug version of main. Click OK and apply. Now let's run it. There you go, that's the debug version. And if we switch to release, that should work as well. Okay, that worked. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.